Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about my eyebrows and this is a much anticipated video and I have a lot to say so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I have a lot of talking to do because I'm trying to comprehensively answer all the questions that I've ever gotten about my eyebrows. I know that it can all be possibly addressed because we all have our weird random eyebrow problems, me included. Um, and in the end, I'm gonna show you guys how I apply my stencil because I stencil in my eyebrows. And it was almost unnecessary, but I know somebody's gonna be like, well, why don't you show us how you put on the stencil? And I figured it was so easy that um, I would just silence you. Shh. Just listen and learn, okay? So if you wanna skip ahead to that part because you think you have nothing to learn, I'm not gonna be offended. You can go ahead and skip back to this part if you decide that you want to listen to me ramble because I like the sound of my own voice. So I don't get my eyebrows done. Um, I have a complex and it's about people touching my face and my hair, any part of this area right here. Um, so I actually wax my eyebrows and I tweeze them and obviously I trim them too. Um, I wax them every two weeks and in the meantime, I just kind of maintain them um, with tweezing. Um, as far as filling them in, I use a stencil and the stencils are from eyebrows.com. I'll put the URL here. I'm gonna go back and talk about it a lot more because I love these stencils. I've had them for four years and I've used them on and off, but I've used them pretty much solidly for the past year. But I'll get to that more in a little bit. Um, when people ask like, I get my eyebrows done and they always mess them up. What do you recommend? Be assertive. Go in there and don't be meek and don't say, I want my eyebrows tweezed. Um, shape your eyebrows the exact way you want them to look and then just be in, like be really strict about it. Um, whether you draw in your eyebrows or stencil them in or powder them in, do the do those steps and go in and say, you know, just tweeze kind of the excess hair. It's always below your eyebrow. Um, up here, sometimes it can get like a little messy, but I would leave that kind of to yourself because that's when people start messing with it and then it gets too thin and then you look like a crackhead. To get it out of the way, um, I don't recommend that you wax your eyebrows yourself. I've been doing it for a long, long time. Like I think since I was 16 or 17 years old. Um, I have a wax warmer. Okay, so I'm gonna say it again. I don't recommend that you go this route because it takes a lot to learn how to do this right without screwing up your eyebrows. So I have a wax warmer from Sally Beauty Supply. The brand is Gigi. And then I have um, All Purpose Honey Wax, also from Sally Beauty Supply. I get my wax strips, that wax, a wax warmer, and the little wax sticks for all under like $35. And the wax never runs out. So it's really cheap to do it at home. But again, I don't recommend it because you're gonna screw your eyebrows up, I promise. Um, let's talk about the stencils. Um, even though I stencil my eyebrows in, I think that there's this belief that if you stencil your eyebrows in, they're going to look identical. Um, mine don't look identical. My eyebrows are naturally not identical. And even though all you're doing is taking a stencil and you're literally flipping it, you're doing it one way and then you're flipping it to the eyebrow, the other eyebrow, um, they're not going to look identical because your eyebrows are normally naturally different. So, um, I just want to debunk that myth right away. Your eyebrows are not gonna look artificial. I know I get a lot of questions on here, but people in real life also ask me about my eyebrows. So I want you to know that in real life, they don't look like drawn in. People are always like, how do you do your eyebrows? And I always recommend these stencils. So where I get my stencils is eyebrows.com. E-Y-E-B-R-O-W-Z. Again, I'll put the URL here and I'll put the link in the description box. Everything I talk about will be in the description box because I know this is gonna be a lengthy video. Um, I found them randomly when I was, you know how you like move from like, I have to find the best foundation and then like you cycle through to I have to find the best mascara. Well, I sat in the have to find, you know, perfect eyebrows cycle for a really long time because I was so sick of my eyebrows and I was sick of looking at everybody else's perfect eyebrows and I found this company like four or five years ago, no kidding. And I bought these stencils and I actually bought a set of four and mine are um, thin and I think they're medium arc, but you guys can go and look them up. And I don't even know where to begin like raving about this company. 
first of all, everything is really affordable and they ship international and shipping for domestic in America begins, I think, at like $3 and I believe international begins at $6. Totally affordable. I got four stencils for $15, which is ridiculous. Um, if you go to get Anastasia eyebrows, like the queen of eyebrows, I've seen the kits in like the $60 range. I've never owned one, so I'm not sure of that, but it's kind of ridiculous. If you stop the video right here and go to the website, you will be able to navigate the whole thing and you probably will spend hours like learning about what you can do, um, kind of going through like what are my problems with my eyebrows and how do I want to fix them. Um, and also the really cool thing is the celeb the eyebrows, I just gave it away. The eyebrows are modeled after celebrity eyebrows and there's like a hundred different types, which is great because I stole these from one of my makeup artist friends. They're the Ardell brow stencils. Holy moly, are these stencils for giants or what? Like I have pretty thick eyebrows, but this is like, oh, you'll never see this. Ugh. How can I make this work? Whatever. Anyway, this stencil is huge. It's huge. Oh, there you can kind of see it there. Um, on my eyebrows, it would like take up half my face. And he had this in his kit and I was like, first of all, what are you doing? Second of all, give me those because I'm going to use them as a no-no example. Yeah, I know it's $4 for four, but I can't think of anybody who is a normal human being that these are going to work and look good on. Don't do it. Um, on eyebrows.com, you guys are going to want to ask, so I'm just going to tell you right now. My stencil is the Jennifer Aniston. Um, I think there's a couple of Jennifer Aniston on there. I'm the JE1. This is it. This is how I get my eyebrows to look like this. Again, it's medium arc. I think it's thin. Um, the, all these dentals vary between like length, um, the height of the arc, the thickness. I mean, literally, you can go through and spend... I spent so much time there. The reason I ended up ordering four is because... I really wasn't sure. I mean, you're ordering online. I really wasn't sure it was going to work for me. And for $15, I didn't feel like I was losing anything. And I remember I narrowed it down to two um, eyebrow stencils. And one of them was that Jennifer Aniston one. And the other one, I think, was the Gwyneth Paltrow one. Which is funny because they both dated Brad Pitt. But I swear, I don't have a thing for Brad Pitt. So the other two I got, I think one was Lisa Kudrow and the other was Liz Hurley. So Gwyneth Paltrow, Jennifer Aniston, Lisa Kudrow, and Liz Hurley. So that's what I recommend you guys do is you get a set of four um, and a brow powder. The brow powder that I have is dark brown. I think this was like $3. Um, I use it every single day. It hasn't ran out. I only bought this like a year ago. Instead, I was using like a dark brown eyeshadow. Um, as far as picking your color, they have a ton of colors on the website. Um, obviously, my hair is like black. It is like black as night. And, well, okay, it's not black, black, because obviously in the sun it gets a little brown. Um, can you see it? No. So, I, I believe on the website it says medium brown fits most people's coloring, um, hair color. So, kind of use your best judgment and the people are so nice so if you need to call for customer service um, call and they will help you out plus if you have to buy two colors because you're not sure um, it's really inexpensive so you don't feel like you have to you know waste money other tools that I use um, for grooming okay um, I you can totally buy the Sally Beauty Supply mascara wands they work wonderfully for grooming your eyebrows like brushing through them but what I did is I took one of these I really like the plastic bristles on the mascaras and they work really great for eyebrows and the mascara with this um it's a covergirl one. Oh my god it matches my nail polish it uh it was covergirl I don't even know covergirl sucks mascara because I ended up washing the wand and using it to um groom my eyebrows it's I don't know. I feel like it's indestructible because of the plastic. Then I have regular tweezers. Because I wax, I don't have to have like one of those really fine tip ones. Even though I've had the tweezerman ones, but I lost it. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of expensive tweezers to lose, but I did. Um, and they're just dipped in nail polish because they have to stay clean and they can't be confused with things like 
pulling out splinters because when you pull out hairs anywhere in your body, you risk infection. And if you're using dirty tools, then you're increasing your risk of infection, right? And cuticle scissors for grooming, I just brush the hairs up and then I like trim them. Um, there are plenty of videos on that. And I believe, oh, oh, this is, I do not believe that is it. For the, you'll see me do this in the end where like I show you how I put on my stencil. Um, what I do is I just take a sponge tip applicator. You can get these from the company, but how many sponge tip applicators have you thrown out with eyeshadow? Um, a lot, right? So I stopped throwing those out when I buy eyeshadow, whether it's high-end ones or like CoverGirl ones. This I actually pulled out of the Coastal Scents and I just rub it in the brown and then I apply it like I powder in my stencil and then I brush my stencil after. You'll see all this in the end. Um, I'm going to check my notes because I want to make sure I didn't forget anything else. So hold on. Oh, they're upside down. Um, I do want to say that I have a $2 coupon for eyebrows.com. Not that you need it. Everything is so inexpensive. You can get everything you need for under $20. But I did call the company and I said, I'm going to talk about you guys, whether you give me a coupon or not. I love you. I've been using you for years. I stand behind the company. And they were very kind and they did give me a $2 off coupon. And the coupon code is YouTube, all lowercase. Um, and that, again, will be in the description box below. Just to be perfectly clear, I am not affiliated with the company. Whether you use the coupon code or not, I do not get paid. I do not get brownie points. I don't get free stuff. Um, it was just something like me thinking on your behalf and calling the company to say, hey, what can you offer my subscribers? I would have talked about them, whether they gave me a coupon code or not. So there you go, FTC. So stick around and you will see how I apply my stencil. I'm going to show you guys how fast and simple it is to apply the stencil. Now you'll find your own footing once you have your stencil. You'll figure out how to hold it and what works and what doesn't um, to create the best shape. But don't worry, that all comes in time. I mean, I've had this stencil for four years, been using it on and off, but I've used it nonstop um, almost a year now. Okay, so here's my stencil. It's the Jennifer Aniston one, as mentioned in the video. And um, here's my brow powder. It's the dark brown. I'm going to pin my hair back really quick to make all of this easy. Okay, so you can tell that this is the eyebrow that's not filled in, and this is the eyebrow that is. This eyebrow, like, naturally has more hair and is better shaped than this one. Um... But like when I turn to the side, you can see that it gets sparse, especially on camera. It gets like washed out. Um, and that's something to take into consideration. Like, yes, you might not make videos on YouTube or you might not work on TV or in movies, but you are going to be photographed if you go out for special events. And that's when you really need to take into consideration, what? Consideration filling in your eyebrows. Because um, you don't want them to look lost in a picture, right? Um, you can tell this one's filled in and you can see how like defined it is. But... It looks good, right? So here we go. All I do is um, I use my little doohickey brush that I showed you guys already and um, I just brush my eyebrow and then tame my fly away. And then I just take the stencil and I'm gonna do this in the camera, in the mirror, it's a lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna try to come in as close as humanly possible so this is helpful to you. What I do is I rub it in the um, brow powder, in the dark brown, and then I, and like I said, you'll learn how to hold the stencil properly, and then I just hold the stencil over my eyebrow. Um, what I do is I apply the powder beginning in, um, first I stop eating my hair, beginning in the arc of the eyebrow working outwards, and then I bring kind of what's left on the sponge forward. So me being recording right now and being in front of lights and with this camera washing it out, I emphasize the front of the eyebrow a little more or else it looks lost. Um, again, when you're being photographed, that's something to take into consideration, but on a day-to-day -day basis, like for work or school, um, you don't want to put this much brow powder in the front because then it just they look artificial. So just here we go. Watch me. Voila, I'm done. 
last thing that I do is I just brush my eyebrows um, because I don't want the color to be like packed on top of the hair because that will that will just make it look fake right so you want the hairs to come back back on top of the brow powder and that's it I'm done right um, one thing I do want to know that when I hold it over my eyebrow I kind of um pinch it with my thumb in the back to round it because obviously your face is not flat, it rounds off. So if I just pinch it with my thumb, it makes it adhere to the front part of my eyebrow and the end part of my eyebrow and then I just fill it in. Now my hair is looking all crazy. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.